freedom of speech relates also to Article 10. So you can see he talks about every citizen has the right to freedom of speech. Literal translation, I'm free to say what I want to say. Even in your in your in your classes, in your you know, in your you know, in your discussions, you have to be careful what you say. But you have the right to say what you want to say. If you say something wrong, they're going to take the right to it. Once my lecturer got mentioned about the question, which is we have to like strike a balance between being honest and uh, being diplomatic. If I am the gatekeeper, which option that I, I have to choose it, like Datuk said, you can disagree with it, but you cannot too straightforward to say you are wrong. Yeah, it's a quite of a fine art of speaking. He mentioned about the law, the act that we never learned before. It's actually quite important for us as uh, communication students. So essentially what I learned earlier was uh, basically that uh, defamation is a very big problem in Malaysia. La. Although we have the good laws, uh, as he mentioned earlier, to sort of uh, protect us as a citizens, right? It's the institutes that are more important. La. Perhaps we can try to change our management on, up on top so that we can have more freedom of speech. La. And also we have to be careful a bit on the innuendos because uh, uh, even those can cause us to go into defamation cases. Because the, the talk is all about the freedom of speech, right? So uh, like some of my friends, they always, they always mention it like, uh, I have the right to speak everything, you know, especially when they're using the social media. So I think it's the best topic for the college students, especially for the teenagers, for our stage nowadays. Dato uh, show his experience when they uh, and they solving the case. I think he's a very experienced speaker.